Will the Iran-Israel war stop the Bitcoin bull market? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, if this war between Iran and Israel is going to stop the Bitcoin bull market. Also some other news guys, also looking into the charts because Bitcoin dipped all the way to 61k. I made a video yesterday, now I'm going to tell you what I expect next for Bitcoin with those charts guys. And of course, an inspirational quote at the end, let's quickly jump into that news first. Yes, I'm walking towards the beach. It's a small, short walk, beautiful here in nature towards the beach, guys. Let's check the information about the war. Bam. As most of you probably already heard, these beautiful birds, of course, but the most important thing that you heard this morning while waking up is there is a war between Iran and Israel. They bombed like, I think like 600 bombs or something. Wait, I don't know even how many bombs, 100 bombs onto uh, Israel, guys, last night. So this is an official start of the war. Some people even expect it's the start of the World War III. Like Trump even put out there a message um, that Kamala Harris and Biden, of course, are the ones responsible for this war because they have been financing this war the last couple of years. They are just pumping money into Iran and Iran had enough now to buy equipment and bombs and now they started to bomb Israel, guys. So how is this war? going to influence the Bitcoin price? That's now the most important questions for all the Bitcoiners. Because mostly, war affects the economy. Mostly because of the war or the fear of a war, the Bitcoin prices and all the other prices of the stock market, they start to crash. And that's exactly what we saw last night. The market started to crash a little bit. We went down all the way from 65 to 61, that's 4K. So that's a beautiful crash there to buy the dip in Bitcoin. And why do I say buy the dip again? Because I don't believe this war is gonna stop Bitcoin. Just like each and every other war did not stop Bitcoin, this war is also not gonna stop Bitcoin, guys. It's simple as that. Just look back to last year, 2023. In October 2023, we made a higher low. And you know what happened in April 2024? We made another higher low. So even though there was a huge war, still, still guys, the Bitcoin price kept going up higher and higher and higher. So we created higher lows and higher highs during that period that that war started. If you look back to the time in Ukraine, the war between Ukraine and Russia, which I refer to as the war between United States and Russia, same thing happened. We didn't go down with Bitcoin. Bitcoin kept going up creating higher highs, higher lows. So these war have no negative influence on the Bitcoin price, in my opinion. In my opinion, these wars are positive for the Bitcoin and the stock prices. Of course, short term, a short crash, but then the long term, we will go up again. Because in times of war, the rich of the rich, they want to protect their capital against inflation, devaluation, against all that stuff. And what do they do then? they start to invest in store of values like gold, and of course now also the gold of the 21st century, Bitcoin. So that is what the rich people do. They are gonna protect their capital. And they will protect their capital by using Bitcoin or gold or silver or diamonds or other store of values. They are not freaking out, they are zooming out. They are even adding to their portfolio during these times. Because during these times, they understand that these wars will reset an economy, but also will force the presidents of all kinds of countries to print a shitload of money. Because they need to buy more bombs. They need to buy more like tanks and all that stuff. Why? Because they need to start to interfere in the war. That's why they, on the first hand, created that war. They want to stimulate the economy. The only tool that the United States has been using in the last couple of decades to help their economy is creating wars. Nothing else. They are just creating wars, guys. And because they create wars, they create economy. And that's how they are able to print more and more money and save their country again and again and again. And that's exactly what is happening now again. This war will not lead to a huge Bitcoin crash. This will not stop the Bitcoin bull market. This war will be the starting signal, maybe your last opportunity dip for this bull market to happen again. Just like it happened during the war in Israel, just like it happened during the war before that, of course, uh, that we still know in Ukraine, Russia, and just like it happened with all the other wars. I'm almost at the beach, guys, uh, but still walking here. 
beautiful path towards the beach. It's a beautiful path, but my calls now are like full with mosquito bites, shitty mosquito bites. So this path, never gonna walk that one again. So that is what I think about this war, guys. Don't be fooled. A war will not stop Bitcoin. Nothing ever will stop Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the best performing asset of the last decades. Bitcoin is the best store of value of the last decades. And Bitcoin is even the best money of the last decades. So don't be fooled. Don't have weekends. Buy this dip. That is the only thing that I can say. Almost at the beach, guys. I'm gonna walk on the beach and then walk back to my motorbike to another way, guys. So don't let that news fool you. This war is not gonna stop Bitcoin. Buy this dip because you will be in profit in the end of 2025. That is when the bull market top will be there. And all the stuff in between is just volatile movements up and down. Very beautiful if you're a trader, but if you're not a trader, you're an investor, you should be adding to your portfolio. And finally, we reached the beach, guys. Yeah, that's a five minute walk, it's a long walk, guys. Let's now jump into the Bitcoin charts, guys, to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today, how the war was influencing the Bitcoin price in the short term, what I expect in the mid and the long term. Let's have a look, guys, at the Bitcoin price and uh, see you at the other side, then. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. Like you can see the sell signals over there already. We start to close down below the yellow stepping line. You should have taken profit of your buy signal. This is a four hour chart, yes. This is the huge dip that you can see here. This is of course the dip because of uh, the resistance, but also because the announcement of the war between Iran and Israel. I think Iran bombed Israel with a lot of uh, bombs. Um, so that is always creating fear into the market why you can see these sell-offs. Um, yesterday we looked at this chart on the daily time frame. If you look back at the daily time frame, we can also see there, yes, again, down below the yellow stepping line, and we are going to fall. We fall now to 61K. We could even fall to that next level over here, 59,000 US dollar, which is the support level of a lot of volume here, the 59, 57 to 59K area. But it all depends on what the markets do when the rest of the world wakes up, guys. Um, this is not positive in the short term. Yes, for traders it is. But of course, it is not positive for the Bitcoin bull market as far as we can see now. But mid and long term, every little thing is going to be all right, guys. If you want to trade all of this, please, for example, sign up to Bybit at the moment. Bybit at the moment has a world series of trading going on over there. If you sign up using my link, you can uh, get some extra bonuses. And yes, maybe even join my team. I, I'm still doubting if I want to be a team captain, but maybe I will do this. If you join my team, then uh, you will be able to win up to $10 million USDT. That is how much is going to be given away during the World Series of Trading, way WSOT, yes, $10 million. And of course, more prizes and all that stuff. You know how it is with Bybit, they keep giving back to their community. So make sure you sign up to Bybit here. Even a luxury yacht, a Rolex watch three times, uh, six times world travel tickets, all possible to win these with the World Series of Trading. So use my link to sign up now to get extra bonuses and maybe even joining my team. And then we go for all these prizes that we can win over here, guys. Yes, it's a lot of things that we can win. So sign up using these links. Now, if we go to the next chart, we have the Gaussian channel, showing you how powerful that Gaussian channel is. Look how powerful that is. It is just, just peaking above the line Next candle again, bam, crashing inside that Gaussian channel, sucking it back into the channel. And now again, this candle is closing in four days and 22 hours, needs to try and break out of that channel because else, bam, that midline will be like, like working like a magnet. It will be attracting the price to that midline and that is a 56,000 US dollar. Could be going uh, to 57, but we need to really get out of this. We need to get out of this Gaussian channel. And yes, the war, of course, is a short-term shock to the markets. But in the midterm, this will all pull up again. Like Just like you see on the, on the bottom here, guys, the MACD, still green. It's not turning red, but it's a flat green area. And we need to have a steep green area to see bullish movements, guys. Now, there is one indicator that is also indicating that we are heavily over sold and that bitcoin needs to be bought a lot to be able to say hey we are now at the top of the bull market and that uh, indicator is the mvrvz score guys this one over there let's put my face a little bit smaller and um, you can see that we are now at the level of over here and um, completely on the right like 1.5 
1.5. Now let's look to the left in the previous bull markets where we were at the 1.5 level. <clears throat> For example, over here, this is the 2017 bull market. That green line is the Bitcoin price, that orange line is the MVRV Z score. Now the 1.5 level was here after the first dip in that run. The run was there from around, what was it again? I think this was around $2,000 to four, $5,000. That run over there created a dip back to 1.5. After that, we shot up to a top level of that 7.7 uh, .7 somewhere, no, even nine, nine or 10 even in 2017 of the MVRV Z score. Now, if you look to the 2020-21, 1.5 was also here, again, just before that huge run on the bull market. Just before. We had already uh, one run, we came down, COVID crash, another run, a little bit down, a little bit up, and there is 1.5. And then we still went, bam, massively up to that 65K level. Now again, we came up, we're coming down, this is a beautiful level now to consolidate, to add more bakers to your dip. We will, with this yellow-orange line, go back near this red area. And that is the moment that the MVRV Z score tells you, hey, this is overbought. Now we need to sell our Bitcoins. Now, this is still really low, guys. This is where we should buy Bitcoin. Stop crying, start buying. Now let's jump into some more amazing charts over here, guys. This one, for example, uh, this chart is, of course, um, beautifully representing why you should be in Bitcoin and not in Euros. Like, just understand one thing. There is a huge war going on. You already talked about that in the news item. Now, in the last decades, we are talking about two and a half decades, 25 years of the Euro. There was a shitload of wars. We can see that. We know that. There were many wars since 1999 all the way to 2024. Many wars. Middle East wars, uh, Russian Ukraine wars. We had a shitload of wars. What did the euro do? If you express the euro into gold, because gold was a traditional store of value, the euro has lost 90% of its value against gold in the last 25 years. If you would have kept all of your capital in gold, you would now have 90% more than you have now. Because you kept all your capital in euros, you have now 90% less than if you would have stayed in gold. That is how bad the euro is for your capital. I hope you really understand. The euro is killing your purchasing power. It's destroying your wealth. Not only the euro, also the dollar, also all the other fiat currencies. They are all destroying your wealth, your purchasing power. Again, if you would have bought gold in 1999, for example, you would have 90% more capital than now because you stayed in the euro. If you would do this chart into Bitcoin, we are talking about a few thousand percent more than you would have now. If you would have bought Bitcoin over here in the global financial crisis in 2009, instead of being loving your euro, if you would have bought Bitcoin at that moment, you would now be a gazillionaire. That's how much Bitcoin rose against euros. Euro is killing your wealth. You should be accumulating Bitcoin. Now, this chart. This chart is about Bitcoin again. This chart is showing you um, that it's very important to understand all these indicators. This chart was shared by Bitpools. Bitpools, you can see on the top over here. And you can see here also, he is stating the MVRV Z score, check here. In the one week percentage, minus 77. We are completely red. The moment this will completely be bullish, positive, that is the moment you sell your Bitcoins. This is the moment you buy Bitcoin. Also the NUPL Z score, there. Red, indicating you should be buying Bitcoin. Everything that you can see here, the 12 multiple Z score, completely red. You should be buying Bitcoin. That is what it is saying, buying Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin. You, every time when these numbers are low or minus red, you should be buying. Just pause this video 
and check all these network metrics to understand what you should be doing. And you can see that smart money is going into Bitcoin slowly. As the market cap is still growing, the market cap is still growing, the realized price is still growing, the price is still growing, and that all while these valuation um, metrics are deeply red. Please understand, you should be adding to your portfolio right now. Then we have this chart, the Global Liquidity Index, uh, showing you that uh, these are cycles, like since 2002 to 2026 over here, how it moves in the long-term cycle, the global liquidity, how it moves with that long-term cycle. You can just see, you know, um, that yes, we are now near the bottom of one of these cycles. And yes, we will go and create more global liquidity, and then we will near the top. And that top will be in the end of 2025. And then 2026, we start to decline again. And that's the bear market. Simple as that. That's the bear market. Um, it was my face in the right place. Yes, that was not there. So that's perfect. <laughs> now, then we have one more chart, guys. <clears throat> this chart, of course, um, you know this chart. I've been sharing this uh, chart already a couple of times. Uh, and this chart is just showing you where we are at the moment in the cycle uh, and what we can still expect of the Bitcoin price. The moment we are over here, September, October, -ish, these months. Um, and yes, this is what happened in the previous two cycles after that October now. We went up massively. If you would repeat the 2018 to 2021 cycle, that yellow line, we would end up somewhere around 250K, maybe even 300K. That's where we would end up if you would repeat that cycle. If you would repeat the 2017 cycle, we would end up above a million dollars per Bitcoin. I don't see that happening. I could see us repeating that double top cycle with a blow off top. So this black line that we have now, the cycle, making only a blow off top, and that blow off top from here could go up, you know, down, up, down, something like that, up, down, and then maybe even create a blow off top higher than here, and then come down, something like that. That would be three to 500,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. That could happen. Of course that could happen. But for me, even guys, even if that line would only come up, only come up to here, and there go down again, something like that, that would be already for me amazing. And I'm not looking at the months because if I would be looking at the months, guys, then I would be going up here, down, up, down, something like that. And it will take all the way till the end here, somewhere in November, uh, 2025, before we have this crash. And still it would be between 120 and 160,000 US dollar. And that is what I expect, guys. That is how I think that the Bitcoin bull market now will go. And yes, also this chart is showing you exactly where we are. We had the bear, we are in the accumulation phase, and there will be a bull phase bringing us to these highs, guys. That's just how Bitcoin moves. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short-term, beautiful volatility again. It was a nice trading setup. Check also the indicator setup. They again told you to sell or to take a short. Again, it was profitable. We are now waiting again to enter with a long midterm, guys. This war could extend this sideways movement a little bit to the first second week of October before we go really into October that's still what I believe October guys so yes we will see a turnaround in the market very soon in my honest opinion and that market will then move up again to 85 90k that is still what I believe war or no war economical crisis or no crisis I still believe that people with money want to protect their capital against inflation, against wars, against all these crises. And the only way to do this is to invest in store of value assets like Bitcoin or gold, guys. So that is what I truly believe. And that's why I zoom out, look at the bigger picture. I still believe the four year cycle, just like you saw in those charts, we will go to beautiful prices, guys. We will go to these prices of 90K first, maybe dip again to 70K. And at the end in 2025, we will see beautiful prices above 100K. And I believe it will be between 120 and 160,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. Wow, my feet really cool off now in this beautiful water over here. I think it's called the Andaman Sea, guys. Very beautiful here. Less waves today, so it's amazing. Now, so that is my take on the charts, guys. Let me know your take on the charts. What do you expect of this Bitcoin move? Do you really think that Bitcoin is going to drop because of this war? Or do you think that Bitcoin will survive this drop? Let me know down below, guys.
And the end of the video, guys, of course, an inspirational part. Yes, it's a short one today. No tips, no things. Watch yesterday's video as we didn't get enough views yesterday. You should be watching yesterday's video as well, guys. Uh, today, the inspirational quote is, you today, when you wake up, you have 86,400 seconds. Please be wise and use these 86,400 seconds in a very wise way. You should probably start your day with around 120 to 180 seconds, for the ones that can't calculate, that's two to three minutes, with appreciating everything that you have and own and are and be. So please write those things down. Thankful that you woke up healthy. Thankful that your wife kids woke up healthy. Thankful that you are living in Thailand, for example. Thankful you're able to do this job of YouTubing, walking on the beach. Thankful for being able to do sports and have mobility. Thankful for all the stuff that you're thankful for. Start your first three minutes with that. Don't take your telephone directly. Leave your telephone aside. Just wake up slowly. And in the first 30 minutes that you wake up, you're still in this like wakey, sleepy phase. That's the moment when you best program your brain, your mindset. So start it with like two to three minutes expressing what you're thankful for. If you write it down, maybe you even remember it. And then maybe in the next minute, you set your goals for this beautiful day. What would you like to achieve today? What would you like to do today? What, how would you like to make other people happy today? Start to do that. If you start that, then at that moment, you only lost around 300 seconds. You still have 86,000 seconds left to live a beautiful day. Just treat every second as it could be your last second. Zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single moment of the day. It's only 86,000 seconds. Yeah, if you spend the 400 seconds already in the morning on all the other stuff. You still have 86,000 seconds left. Please spend them wise. Of course, take your sleep. It will be eight hours. But the rest of the day, it's up to you how you spend those seconds. And every second you spend leads to a more beautiful part in your life. The more seconds you spend beautiful, the more you will be grateful for everything that's happening in your life, the more you will attract beautiful things into your life. It's simple as that. If you focus on the negative stuff, you will stay negative. You need to start focusing on the positive stuff and you will become positive and you will attract positiveness. Positive people, positive situations, everything will become positive if you start to focus on that. Leave the negative part behind. Just like this war. You can focus on the negative part. Yes, people will be dying. Yes, you, sh you should put a middle finger to those governments that are creating this war. But please, don't let it influence your life. Please move on. Try to help those people over there. Maybe you can send some funds or whatever is that possible. But still, start to focus on the positive things you can do for that war, for yourself, for your family. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about everything I talked about today? I know it's a short video, but just don't have too much time today, guys. Always think about to be or not to be. That's the most important sentence for all of you guys. Do you want to be or do you want not to be? Not to be, then you stay with your bank accounts, then you stay poor. If you want to become to be, then you go all into Bitcoin. You start to buy Bitcoin. That's how you become rich and how you become independent of those centralized organizations that want to fuck up your life. Yes, referring to the governments, central banks, and that other elite mafia up there, guys. Now, hopefully you loved it. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. I see you tomorrow again. Bam.